uh, regarding all your air travel. You stated six a month removed from US Airways flight from Minneapolis to Phoenix are, call, are calling on Muslims to boycott the airline. If only we could get Muslims to boycott all airlines, we could dispense with airport security altogether. <laughs> That's, that's when you realize you're really in trouble. We are up against an enemy with no sense of irony. <laughs> so next, you know, all New York City cab drivers. That's it, we've had it. We're going to start bathing. <laughs> no, that won't work. No. And I did have some, I mean, I thought the airline, I think it was Northwest Airlines, and, uh, you know, I said they should start advertising. More civil rights lawsuits brought against us by Arabs than any other airline. <laughs> I give you the New York City civilian trial of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. What does Eric Holder say in that speech? Because it was to impress the rest of the world. You know, if, if I mean, I can't understand that trial of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed be coming, coming to a courthouse near you. Um, it, it, it is so unbelievable. I keep thinking I must be misunderstanding something. They can't be this stupid. Um, one guy who is that stupid is apparently Senator Jack Reed. I saw him being interviewed yesterday on the Chris Wallace Show, Democrat um, senator. He followed Rudy Giuliani, who was magnificent in the interview, I might add. Um, and Chris Wallace asked him, Senator Reed, the perfectly reasonable question, well, what happens if they get acquitted? And, and Senator Reed said, Oh, well, we're not going to let them go. They're too dangerous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He doesn't seem to grasp what this means to move a terrorist to a civilian trial in New York City. Um, and all these liberals, I mean, it's weird how they're acting like they're the macho ones. We want to bring this guy to justice. I, 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 People keep saying Holder must be confident. I think their plan is either we get a conviction and everyone thinks we're macho, or we blame the fact that we couldn't get um, a conviction on those, on those damn bushies with their playing the rap music in the cells. And that's torture, isn't it, America? Huh? That's torture. I do not think Americans are going to react that way to the claim that playing rap music in a terrorist cell is torture. Um, but this is the problem with the Obama administration. This is the problem with never being in a room, um, let it, never letting anyone who isn't in the ACLU into the room. Getting all of your information from, from Zabars. No, you've got to leave Zabars, you've got to leave the ACLU and see what normal people think, because otherwise you run the risk of saying something totally crazy in public, as Jack Reed did, as Eric Holder did, um, but this is how they're all defending it, that, oh, the Europeans will, will be impressed by this. So in other words, they think we need to prove to the rest of the world that we are better than Al-Qaeda. If the rest of the world doesn't know that, I got to say, screw them. And I think most Americans would agree with me, or I do not know America. What happened immediately after 9-11, all the mainstream media is rushing, because the primary victims of 9-11 were all the Muslims, because people might look at them funny. They might get a dyspeptic glance on the subway. So let's rush in and stop that. Um, yeah, OK, we know there are Muslims who aren't terrorists. Fine, fine, that isn't the point. When you're talking about how to prevent the next terrorist attack, I, my, I fly a lot. My bet noir is airport security. And it is so completely insane. And what Norman Mineta and every Secretary of Transportation has said, has, has said since then, with no one, at least within the administration, disputing, is that we will not consider ethnicity. We will not even put that on the table. I mean, it's not as if they always claim, oh, it won't work. Well, but you guys excluded it before looking at whether it would work, because I think it might work a little bit. It might help you um, at some point of the screening. Um, but no, because of political correctness, because Muslims are a liberal victim, we can't even consider that for airport security. And I just, I'm, I mean, that is the sort of situation that quote is very appropriate for. That isn't saying that all Muslims are terrorists, but it is saying that all terrorists are Muslims, and all the terrorists we need to be worried about. <laughs>